guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be making this slightly slouchy crochet hat. This is a pattern for somebody who has made a hat before. I do have another crochet tutorial hat. If you've made a few of those, then you're good to go for this project. We are going to be doing several different types of stitches and doing a, a couple of more advanced beginner type of things. So if this is your first project or your first hat, you might want to try a little tiny bit simpler hat, but I'm going to show you all the steps. I'm going to really break it down and really show you every little detail so that you can be successful with this hat. I do recommend that you check out the link that will be below um, the video. It's at my blog, iheartstitching.com, and that's going to have the written instructions. I've made it a downloadable file for you guys, so you can print it out and follow along and make sure that you're doing all the steps that are shown in the video. Okay, one more thing. Underneath the video, there is a little spot called Show More. If you click on it, it will open up a description box with a ton of details, the type of yarn, the type of hook, all of the links and everything that you might want to know about this video. Um, so check there. If you're on a mobile device, to the right hand side of the title of the video, there's a tiny little gray arrow and that's what you want to click on to see the same information. This is really important that you can find where that is because that's where the instructions are going to be. That's where all the other details are going to be. And then of course if you have any other questions leave me a comment below. But let's get going over to the slightly slouchy tutorial. Okay guys, here is our Heartland yarn by Lion Brand. It's a medium size yarn and we're gonna use the package recommended hook of a J. And uh, we're gonna start with a slip stitch. We're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. This is gonna be round one. If you're following along with the written instructions, which I really recommend that you do. So go ahead and slip stitch in that first chain we're going to pull that through to create a circle. And then what we're going to do is chain two. One, two. And then we're going to do 12 half double crochets inside the circle. So you're going to insert right in the middle of the circle right there. This is the beginning of round two. So we're going to do a half double crochet. Half double crochet is a really great stitch. It's my favorite crochet stitch. And what it is is you yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three stitches. It's a really quick but still dense crochet stitch which I really like. So we're going to do 12 of those inside this circle and just scooch it over if you're running out of room. There's plenty of room in there. And you're going to go ahead and do 12 of them inside the circle. So when you get to the end you are going to slip stitch right here in that chain right up there slip stitch to complete that round. You're going to have a total of 12 stitches. We're going to count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Be sure that you're doing that at the end of every round to make sure that you're staying on track. So we're going to chain 2 and begin round 3 with 2 half double crochets in that first stitch. So in the pattern it will say 2 HDC which is 2 half double crochet and then it will say HDC1, which just means one half double crochet. The two means in the same stitch. That's how it's written in the pattern. So we have two, and then we have one right here. And then we're going to repeat that going all the way around for a total of 18 at the end. So finish that up. Okay, now we are finishing up this round. Don't forget it's two half double crochet and then one going all the way around. Slip stitch. Make sure that you count all your stitches again. You're going to have 18 at the end of this one. So a slip stitch. And then we're going to, you're going to notice a pattern here. So we are going to be uh, doing a chain two, one, two. And then we're going to begin our next round, round four, by doing two half double crochet in that first stitch again. So this one is going to be two HDC, as it'll say on your pattern, two HDC, two in the same stitch, and then HDC two, which means two 
next to each other. So they're not in the same stitch. You're going to do two half double crochet. I know that seems kind of confusing, but it's, um, it's just only tricky with that two. <laughs> so you're going to do two right next to each other, and then you're going to repeat it. So then you're going to do two in the same stitch. And then complete that going all the way around. That's round four. You're going to end up with 24 stitches. So again, make sure you're following along with the instructions and counting at the end of every round. That will make sure that you're keeping up with everything and that nothing's getting wonky as you go along. Okay, here we are finishing up round four. This is how it should be looking. We're going to chain two and then we're going to start it again. We're going to start our fifth round and we're going to do the two half double crochet and then half double crochet three. So the pattern will say two HDC and then HDC three. So we're just going to be increasing for a few more rounds and this is going to be a pattern that you'll notice. So do that all the way around for the fifth round. The end should have 30 stitches that will have that on the pattern. Slip stitch to complete that fifth round. This is again how it should be looking. And then we're going to chain two and go ahead and start round six, which same thing, two half double crochet and then we will have half double crochet four. So, and then repeating that all the way around just like we've been doing. So two in that first stitch, here is the second one. And then we're going to do four half double crochets and then do two again. So you can see it'll be one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do two in that fifth spot. So go ahead and do that all the way around. It should be ending up with 36 stitches. stitch to complete this round and then we are going to move to our last round like this the seventh round same thing two half double crochet uh, you can see me here don't forget those two chains then two half double crochet and then we're going to be doing half double crochet five so do that all the way around this is going to have 42 stitches at the end this is the last round like this we're going to move on to something fun in the, the next round and just keep in mind, follow along with those written instructions. Um, and if you're going to use a different type of yarn, I have some instructions for the Karen Simply Soft yarn. Um, that yarn is a little bit finer, so the numbers of stitches are a little bit different on that one. So I have that one as well. It's the blue hat, if you saw earlier. And you can check out my blog, iheartstitching.com, if you have any other questions or concerns about anything. Here is the seventh round finishing up. Then we're going to get ready for the fun stuff. Okay, for the eighth round, we are going to be doing a puff stitch. So you're going to slip stitch and chain two, just like we've been doing. Then we're going to be doing a puff stitch, which is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. And then we're going to do that again, yarn over, insert, and then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all those loops that are on that hook. This is called a puff stitch, and it's really important that you don't tug on that yarn with your left hand. Um, you don't tug on that and, and give any tension when you're doing this stitch because it's gonna be so much easier to pull through all of those loops if you don't do that. So yarn over, insert, yarn over. You're doing that a whole bunch of times. You have five loops on that hook before you pull it through. That is a puff stitch. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puff stitches. And then we are still increasing this hat. So we need to do two puff stitches in this stitch. So two of them together in the stitch in order to continue to increase um, this hat. So there's one, then we need to put another puff stitch. You can kind of see how this is working. 
And then we need to do nine puffs, and then another, another increase of two, then another nine, then another two, then another nine, another two. This is why it's really important to have those instructions um, so that we get, get it all right. Then at the last two, we're gonna have one little leftover guy that we need to put in there. So we'll, I'll show you that right here. So this is where we need to do the two. Remember, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through twice for the puff stitch. Five loops should be on your hook. That'll be your kind of hint, and you'll get the hang of it as you go along if you've never done the stitch before. There's our two, and then we need to do one more just to finish off this little guy right in here. And then that should be a total of 46 stitches. So that could kind of be a good way to check. Slip stitch and chain two. And then you are gonna go ahead and puff stitch in each stitch all the way around. No increasing, just one, one puff stitch in each stitch going all the way around from rounds nine through 16. So this is where you can pop in a movie and just kind of get comfortable. You don't have to worry about the instructions too much. You're just gonna be doing this for a while. However, after this first round, that round nine, you are gonna do something a little bit different. You're not gonna slip stitch. So once you're done doing that round nine, you're just gonna finish up, and then instead of slip stitching, we're just gonna go ahead and puff stitch in that stitch right there that I'm doing right there. There it is. And you'll see it's gonna kind of step up a little bit, and as we go around, you're not gonna notice that at all, but it will help to make sure that there's not a seam. Um, with that slip stitch going all the way down, there would be a seam along the side of the hat. So you're just gonna wanna keep doing this for a little while, going all the way around. Once you have completed round 16, this is how your hat should be looking. It looks like a hat now, yay. And I want you to find on your hat where that little step up was, where we did not slip stitch and we just kind of kept going around. I want you to find where that is and that is where you should end. You can use a stitch marker if you need one or you can just eyeball it that way. And now instead of doing the puff stitch, we're gonna make the little single crochet band that goes around our head to make it snug enough to fit. And we're gonna single crochet going in each stitch all the way around. So single crochet is a really simple stitch and all you're gonna do is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through those two loops. And we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now for row, rounds 18 and 19, we need to do decrease. So once we get back to the beginning, like we are here, um, we're gonna do five single crochets and then we need to decrease because it's gotta be tight enough to fit around our head and with that puff, it's, you know, with that slouchiness, uh, we need to decrease. So do your five single crochets and then right here, we're gonna decrease. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then go in the next stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is a single crochet decrease. Then you're gonna do another five, and then do that again. You're gonna repeat that around for rounds 18 and 19. The end of round 18 should have 41 stitches. The end of round 19 should have 36. So go ahead and finish that up. Here we do the decrease one more time. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. There's that decrease. So here I am just finishing up round 19 on that hat and finishing up that single crochet going all the way around. Now we made it to round 20, yay we made it. So once we get back to the beginning of those single crochets, um, we're going to do a total of four rounds of the single crochet so you can just double check yourself and you can see that spot where we started where that puff stitch is. And now you want to try your hat on, make sure that it's fitting you. You don't need to make any adjustments and you're going to single crochet all the way around. Um, in each stitch, no increasing, decreasing, we're just going to do one more row. This is how your hat should be looking and you do want your hat to fit snug because the crochet will stretch a little bit over time. Trim that end uh, yarn piece right here where you're going to finish it off. 
pull through, that's how you finish it off right there. And then you're going to use one of these yarn needles, which is really handy, and um, we're going to weave in the ends. Don't forget to weave in this end here at the beginning of the hat, and then also the one at the end. If you finish a hat, I would love to see your finished projects over on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. And I hope you guys had so much fun learning how to make this hat. Thanks so much for watching. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below. Uh, I'll try to help you out as best I can. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.